So let's talk about uh, your mindset a little bit. So we're going to have to wrap up within about five minutes or so. So I want to get in as much as we can within the next five minutes. Um, so do you have any daily personal routines or daily habits or daily rituals that you would say uh, really um, attribute uh, towards your success? Yes, yes, and yes. In fact, without it, there's no way I could do what I do. So I now have four kids, and it is four no more, guys. This guy's done. So four kids, and if I allow my day to start when their day starts, which is around 7, 7.30, that day is a complete wreck, and I never really turn the dial to a better Cody that day. So I am all about waking up at least an hour, but I try to get up around 5.30 or 6 every single day. And I use that time, A, first and foremost, to I, I say my, my, my morning prayer. That's my time to show gratitude and, and pray for individuals in my life and to just bless and watch over my day, right? So first and foremost, that goes down. Secondly, is also be spiritually fed. So go to the scriptures and start learning. Third is read a good book. And I'm going to announce a couple in the end, and I, we're going to talk about this. but read a good self-help book. I'm not a Harry Potter fan or anything of a of fictional or anything like that. I like things that are really going to help me become better. I believe this life is a life to progress. And so I want to make sure I'm reading quality content, uh, content that helps me progress. But I have found out if I can win the first hour of the day, I win the day. But when I don't win that first hour of the day, I don't win the day and it's every love, single time. I love that, Cody. I mean, it's like the first hour of the day sets the course, frameworks the entire rest of the day. And uh, I love the quote you just said, own the first hour, you own the day, right? That's right. That is correct. And that's the same for even people in working out. If you work out in the morning, you're going to eat a lot better during the day because you've already put forth the work. But when you haven't worked out that day, it's like, ah, I'm going to eat like garbage for the next four hours because I'm going to work out tonight. I and mean, you can't outwork bad eating, period, the end. So win the first hour of the day and you win the day. Test that. Try it. I am not saying other than I challenge you to do it and see how this literally will take place in your life. Um, but yeah, that's that's my morning ritual. And then from there, I love family time. My, my calling in life is to be an amazing husband, an amazing father. I'm not perfect at it. I fall short every single day, but I'll be darned if I don't at least try my absolute best to, I, I love it. I get to make breakfast for my kids every single day. Wow. Um, I, get to, uh, I get to take my kids and drop them off at school. And we go over affirmations on the way to school before I drop them off. Hey, guys, how's school going to be? And they go over their affirmations on how it's going to be a great day and we're going to find the good. And it's, it's awesome. We just we, we, we do all this fun stuff. I get to be part of this every single day. I don't have to go fess up to a boss and be in at 7 in the morning and then come home at 6 at night and get one hour with my kids before they go to bed. I get to do and, and I, get to, I get to go in the office when I want to go in. And that's after my family responsibilities are taken care of. Then I go in and take care of my, what is my third priority? And that would be work, but really it's God, family work in that order. And when I do those things, gosh, am I perfect? And are, are all my days perfect? No, I'd be lying to you, but uh, they are uh, a lot more of them go the way I need them to go when I do it that order. You say you normally get up between five thirty and six in the morning. When do you normally go to bed at night? Uh, that's another secret in life. So no later than 10 lights out. So that's kind of our thing is, uh, me and Wendy, we have, uh, or my wife, we have uh, what we call pillow talk where we can just sit there and chat and talk about the kids and, and strategize on, Hey, um, Cody, uh, when you got home, you were frustrated at Bentley and you, and you kind of said it like in a loud voice. I think you could have done better had you just taken them on a walk and just talked with them. And I'm like, you're absolutely right, sweetheart. So we have pillow talk, uh, but literally 10 o'clock hits and it's like lights off because we got to wake up early in the morning again and start working on us. Gotcha. When do you plan your day? When do you plan your work day? I actually plan it. Some people do it the night before. I do it in the morning. So in that power hour, hour and a half, that's part of the plan is, and I, I don't lay out every hour. I think uh, I used to do that and it failed me miserably. I just pick out if I can do one thing and if I can do two or three, great. But if I can at least do 
one thing and it would change everything. It would help in the family. It would help in the business. It'd help in my role and responsibilities with God. That one thing, if I can focus and hone in like a sniper, one bullet at a time, I find out that I am doing more for my day than if I try to do and nail and conquer like five things, six things, seven things, I usually start shooting the shotgun and all the BBs don't hit. So I try to focus on at least one thing. And if I can get two or three, I'll do it. Well, you know what? You're like Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett uh, for years has written one thing on his index card. Uh, and that's all he would allow. Of course, he'd make his list, you know, but he'd, yeah. boil, it down, he'd boil it down to one thing. 